So today we're gonna to be creating some art journaling papers using just standard deli paper. And also we're gonna be using Marabou Easy Marble in a variety of colors. I have everything from neon to glitter to metallic to opaque. So we're just gonna be combining and getting some amazing effects for some uh, art journaling papers that we can collage and embellish with later. You ready? Let's go. So I have a standard baking pan and I've just um, uh, applied some just regular tap water. I've got gloves on my hands. And uh, for deli paper, I have a variety of both just white and then also natural so that different combinations can show up. Uh, let's start. I'm just gonna use some of the neon. I'm gonna shake so that any sediment that's in here will be activated. And I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the tops on the ones that I wanna use. Why am I doing this? Well, because the activation time once the Marabou Easy Marble is in the pan only has about a minute. So you wanna have everything ready so that as you um, go to dip the paper, it, everything's complete. I'm gonna start just by putting some of the um, neon in here. I'm gonna use some yellow for beginning and just kind of dump it in there. I'm gonna use some pink. And I'm going to use some green. And then we'll put just a splash of orange in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put a dark color like black just to really help it to uh, showcase some of the neon. Remembering that I've only got about a minute. I want to make sure that these outer perimeters are equally activated. Really just loading the color down with the green. And then I can take just a simple utensil to kind of unify and swirl some of the colors just to create a more interesting pattern. All right, and then I'm just going to take some of the white deli paper and I'll oop, just let it build the surface. You can see what's happening here as it picks up everything. Make sure that my little air bubbles are down. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to put that one aside. And we're going to do, the water's clean, you can see that it pulls the film off. And now we're going to do something that would show up a little bit more on the natural one. So we'll use some of the opaque. I'm going to use some of this soft uh, lilac. I'm going to use some mint green and some gray. And again, pulling the tops off. So I've got a lilac, I've got a gray, I've got a mint green, and I've got a uh, blue, a powder blue. And you always want to have gloved hands when you are doing this because um, it could get messy really quick. So I'm putting the blue in here. It's activating in the water. Remembering that I've got about a minute of open time here. I'll do some gray. And then I'm going to take my swizzle stick. Just keep going. If it looks interesting in the pan, it'll look interesting on the paper. So that's what I'm going for. And then I'll just take a sheet of my natural and I'll leave. Now you can actually um, get a larger pan if you want just to fill up the whole thing. But because I already know that I'm collaging this, I'm not really concerned with it. Um, I do want a gloved hand because it makes it easier to not have to get this on my fingers. And see, Ooh. and you can just practice to see, you know, um, which colors stand out on which papers. But you can see how this could be kind of addictive. Let's do another one, and let's this time let's feature some glitter and metallic. So I'm going to take some black and really just set the tone with my black. Put a little bit of gray. 
That really separated things, didn't it? Then I'm gonna take some silver. Wow. And then let's do some glitter. This makes things sparkle. Everything is amazing. Glitter, glitter. All right. Get my swizzle stick. Pull that black down. Maybe let that black speak out. Some variety there. And use the brown paper. Boom. Let it get all the edges. And I'm just going to again pat down in case there's any air bubbles just to make sure that the surface. Well, wow, look at that. You see the shimmer on it? Very interesting. Okay, let's do one more with uh, the metallic and let's do some traditional colors on white. So I'm gonna take the blue. Ooh, look at that blue. The blue's amazing. Amazing. And let's do some, some chartreuse. And then we'll do some color shift metallic. This is the green, violet, and silver together. And this meaning that whichever way you look at it, it will create an offsetting color. Hence the color shift. All right, I'm going to take my swizzle stick. Just really get these colors integrated. I want to make sure that my vibrant color is you know, shining, showcasing. So let's put just a little bit more of the blue because that was really my favorite. Swirl up a little bit more, reminding myself that I've just got about a minute. So I don't want to overthink this. If it looks interesting in the pen, it will look interesting on the paper. Very cool. And we're going to do white this time. Making sure that I've got everything tagged on here. Very nice. Okay, so you can just really keep exploring. We could keep creating and just keep using the same pan over and over again, but um, let's come back and see what they look like dry when we go to collage them into um, some different effects.